All right, to, uh, today is January the 23rd, 2022. We've got an Emotiva, what is it? Emotiva TA1. TA1, very nice little amplifier. I wanna show you how this thing performs. <clears throat> we won't waste a lot of time on it. Try to make the video uh, right to the point. It's rated at 60 watts per channel, and it does so. So I'm gonna move my camera all the way around. So, you know, I'm always banging things around here. Got to move this thing over here. Because, not only do we want to see the amplifier, let me see if I can show you right here. It's a, it's a receiver. Pretty little thing. Back of it is, uh, oops. Back of it's got a whole bunch of inputs. There's a, um, there's a number of uh, reviews about it. We got we're using the aux input. It's got phono, CD, and aux. It's got the uh, moving coil and the moving magnet uh, pickup over here for the uh, for the phono. Uh, analog outputs, etc. FM tuner. Uh, what do you call this? Not USB, but um, well, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Antenna. Yeah, you can talk to a Bluetooth. And I got them. Plugged into our uh, our dummy loads, eight ohms. We're going to be testing it at eight ohms. It's rated a little bit more power at uh, at four ohms, but um, as you can see, it's at aux. They're being loaded into these uh, precision resistors up here. These are these are all eight ohm resistors up here. This is nothing new to you guys that uh, watch my videos, pretty much. But it might be new to uh, so my newer viewers and what we're going to do here we're just going to make uh, some quick static measurements of it so you can see everything at one time right now I'm running it at 20 kilohertz let's lower this back down to uh, 2 kilohertz and I'll leave it at the 20 at the 2 mark so that we can go from 20 hertz to 200 hertz to 2 kilohertz and to 20 kilohertz and that's at 7 watts here's power there's display there's frequency there's THD there's voltage across 8 ohms square of that divide it by 8 and you'll get this number okay let's run it up to they rate it 60 watts let's run it up to 60 there we go that's at uh, 2 kilohertz, as you can see right there. And its THD is uh, practically blanked out by the, uh, by the glare of the lights. And it still is. Probably this one right here. Got to be able to read those numbers. Yep, there it is. 0.0285. I believe you can see that. We won't. We won't get too ridiculous. At 60 watts at 2 kilohertz. Let's, let's look at everything at once. As much as we can. And then we will go to uh, 20 kilohertz. We went from 60 watts to round that up to 55. That's 60, 55. Divide log 10 times that's uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but that's 0.38. That's less than a half a decibel drop. Very good. Go down to 200 hertz, 60 watts. Didn't drop a bit, but I could tell. You can see it's power right here. Let's go in on that just a little bit. And then, uh, you can see right over here, it's at 200 hertz. 200 hertz right there. And let's go to 20. Let's really put it to the test. It'll settle down there. 59 watts at 20 hertz. That's a, that's a nice looking... Uh, 20 hertz sine wave. 
It's like it does what they say it'll do. You can see it's uh, frequency is 20 hertz right there, and it's, uh, it's THD up here at uh, 0.02 to 0.03 percent. I don't see any sense in, in going uh, and doing the other channel. I've already tested it, and it does the same thing. Uh, we could run both channels at the same time to uh, really put the power supply to the max, but uh, I don't think I'll do that. It's a nice little amplifier receiver. Crank the volume back down. There'd be a lot of other, I guess, crazy tests we could run on it, but um, just to keep it simple, uh, I haven't done many solid state amplifiers. You know, I'm always into the vacuum tube amplifier. By the way, we were testing it and just actually comparing it to this guy right here, this Mac 2100. It does every bit as good. Doesn't put in quite as much power, but uh, the uh, I think the upper frequency response, uh, as far as um, as far as loss goes, and that's about loss, I believe it's actually slightly better than this 2100. And um, what I still listen to, of course, is, uh, is these monstrosities over here. This is, uh, uh, yeah, you can't really see it. Yeah, let's turn that guy back around. You've seen this one before. This one runs a pair of uh, KT90s, that's what I've been listening to lately. It's a Williamson design, and then uh, I got another little Williamson uh, right up there that I'll listen to a lot. This little guy up here with that uh, Chicago transformer uh, over here on the right. But anyway, what the um, what this video is about, I can crank back down here. Is this nice little amplifier right here. So. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet, but it's very, very clean. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.